and welcome to Daily Newspaper Analysis, which is brought to you by Lossy Ho. So today we have only one article for our discussion, which is from the Hindu newspaper. The title of this article is No Need for a Drastic Population Policy. So in a way, we have previously also discussed this article regarding the UP population policy, but now another state, let's see which state is it, has also brought the similar policy. So do we really require this kind of drastic population policy in the current situation or not? will be discussed in this article. This newspaper analysis is presented by me. My name is Sheva Khan. I am a law graduate and had completed my law degree from Uttaranchal University with a gold medal in my batch. I've also been a national debater as well as a public speaker. And here at Law Seco, I'm working as a current affairs expert as well as manager for current affairs vertical. If you wish to connect with me, you can find me on my Twitter as well as LinkedIn handles. The links to both are available in the description box below. Let's see what is the multiple choice question from yesterday's discussion. Which article of the Indian constitution prohibits human trafficking? Your options are article 21, article 12, article 32, or article 23. You can put it down your answer in the comment section below. This is the descriptive question for the day. Does India need a drastic population control policy? Critically discuss. Please remember that whenever the question asks you to discuss something critically, it means that you need to make the pros as well as cons of the given statement, which means that you have to write in favor as well as against the given topic. If you wish to download the PDF of today's slides or you want to avail any other kind of study materials, be it monthly newsletters, daily quizzes, monthly current affairs quizzes, etc., so you can take part in the Telegram channel, which is for Law Seco test prep. So you can find the link in the description box below, or you can simply scan this QR code that you can see on your screens right now. And also for other crisp and important content, do not forget to follow us on our official Instagram channels for Law Seco Judiciary, Law Seco CLAT prep, as well as Law Seco UGC net, if you're preparing for any of these exams. So let's quickly discuss the article for the day, though we have already covered it before as well. So we'll take it into a very short discussion. So this article talks about the population policy in India. Now, as we know that as per the recent and the current scenario, India is, it still stands to be the second most populous country of the world after China. And it is anticipated that within coming years, India will very easily surpass the population of China, hence becoming the most populous country of the world. And in such a situation when we already are facing shortage of various resources, be it the job opportunities, infrastructure, education, school, etc., it makes quite much sense that we control the population of the country. But then again, what drastic steps can we take over here or do we really need to be so drastic about this approach shall be discussed in this article. So recently, the BJP ruled states of Assam and Uttar Pradesh, and for Uttar Pradesh, we have already discussed in our pre previous sessions as well. So they have proposed to bring in draft legislation aimed at controlling their population. For Uttar Pradesh, it was the Uttar Pradesh Population Control, Stabilization and Welfare Bill 2021. And recently, Assam Chief Minister has announced a population army to curb birth rate in Muslim-dominated areas in Lower Assam. Now here, one thing that brings the concern, the entire piece of concern regarding this population control policy is that that Assam policy is specifically to stop or to lower down the population in the Muslim dominated areas in the lower Assam. Now, when we're trying to put down the population or reduce the population growth of the country, why at all do we need to specifically mention or specifically have greater control over one particular religion is something that pinpoints to our attention. So here let's understand that what is the actual need for the population policy and do we really need such religion specific population policy in the country or not. So the projection by the Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare in 2019 said that UP, that is Uttar Pradesh, will reach a replacement rate of 2.1 by 2021 and Assam will reach the replacement rate by 2020. So which means that it is very fast growing. And if we talk about that, do we really need a drastic policy or not? So it can be clearly seen and said for sure that this in a way definitely is an attack on the Muslim population in the country. And this can be considered to be as one of the greatest or the biggest political reason behind bringing such policies in the country. 
now nothing to be very critical about but yes there are some instances which can be through which it can be seen that the current government at the center it has been seen that it is a bit you know that favors greater say of the hindutva or the hindu rashtra and does not really favor other religions or you know to be very specific the muslim religion now this is something that could be an opinion as well now being my personal opinion here it does not really count so i would not really like to give any of my personal opinions over here but yes through some policies be it the nrc as well when the citizenship amendment act was brought and in the through the nrc also it could be seen that maybe in a hidden manner or somewhat in the other way this government some at times it tries to you know uh, put down or tries to attack on the minority uh, religions of the country and to be very specific on the muslim minority of the country and here when the assam uh, policy has clearly said that it would be done to curb down the muslim dominated areas in the lower assam so it clearly seems to be an attack on the muslim population in the country and according to the national family health survey data let's also understand that is it so that are the muslims or the is the muslim population in the country a bigger or a greater contributor to the population growth or does it really matter that a person belongs to a particular caste community or religion or not so as per the national family health survey data in 2015 and 16 total fertility rate declined by 1.2 for hindus and 1.66 for muslims which is even greater than the hindus in uttar pradesh as compared to 1998 and 1999 so which means that the fertility is better in the hindu population as compared to the muslim population and even if we say muslims only contribute to 14% of the total indian population and the rest specifically is majority hindu population so in such a situation merely if really we want to control the population of the entire country so merely populating or merely curbing down the population of muslims would not really suffice and would not really help us reach any significant goal also in 2019 20 the total fertility rate in assam for hindus declined to 1.59 and for the muslims it declined to 2.38 as compared to 1998 1999 which means again the total fertility rate was even more you know decline was even more for muslims as compared to hindus so if we talk about statistically so probably hindus contribute more in the population and logically also like for example there are 100 people in a particular country 60 of them belong to one particular religion so even if they do not you know reproduce a lot still there are greater chances and there is a, you know logically greater chance of them contributing more to the population because they were already more in the number so here it does not really make much of logic in sense to just curb down the religion of you know or the population of one particular religion now let's understand that what is there or is there even and you know any logical religion or lo logical relation between uh, the tfr that is the total fertility rate and religion so the fertility rate does not depend on religion but yes of course the socio economic factors like education income maternal and child health conditions their you know uh, their family planning etc they definitely play a very important role in deciding as to what would be the fertility as in how many children would be born to one single fertile woman so the fertility rate of both hindus as well as muslims have positive correlation and fertility rate of hindus is greater than the muslims in four districts of assam and 11 of bihar 22 of uttar pradesh and 3 of west bengal so in a general scenario we can see that hindus have greater or higher fertility rate as compared to muslims and thus if we are only trying to curb the muslim population it definitely seems to be some other kind of political agenda and it just seems to be covered up in the name of population control policy for the entire nation also if in generalistic way also the population policy is implemented in the country there is a very high chance that sex selective abortions of girl child may take place just as was the case when one child policy was brought in china so many cases were reported wherein the people preferred if at all they were given a choice to have only one child they preferred to have a male child above a girl child and even in india though yes of course you may say that the sex determination before uh, the delivery is illegal in the country but of course you and i all of us know that it unfortunately is still a practice that is undertaken in many hospitals in the country and that is why this would definitely give a better or a greater leeway to the sex selective abortions of the girl child and thus the sex ratio would deteriorate even further 
and also this will actually increase the proportion of the aged population because as currently we know that india is considered to be as the country of the youth the demography of the india of the country is as such that it has the highest youth population in the world in fact it, it is said that approximately 65% of the total population of the country is youth is it falls in the category of youth and if at all we significantly or drastically reduce the total fertility rate which means that a new child that would be born would also reduce and thus the population will get older very fast and this will ultimately result in bringing down of the economy as well as bringing down the aspirations and the energy of the entire nation as such so this was all for the day let's see that what does uh, the future hold for these population policies but yes of course we being responsible citizens should take our decisions very responsibly we should be you know we should always go for family planning and only then have children and or think about having children whenever the time the right time comes so yes this was all for the day we hope it was a good and informative session for you all if you liked it please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel also leave a good and happy comment for us for our encouragement Thank you so much.